Hey there, Papa's Posse. Don't forget about that QR code. Take it to my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram page. Well, welcome back to the channel there, Papa's Posse. Once again, it's time for Papa's Comic Books, Coffee, and more. Today's reading, Comic Books, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Come to Casper's Birthday Party, Harvey Classics, number 12, $1.25, back in 1993. Artist on here is Jorge Pacquio. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papas-Comic-Books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about Casper. Let's see what Casper has to say. The Wishing Cake. Happy birthday, Casper. Wendy, how nice of you to remember. Ah, cake. How unoriginal. Everybody thinks of a cake, not us. Did you get him anything? Nah, I forgot all about it. We better think of something or he might forget our birthdays. Nah, he's too goody-goody for that. Just the same, we'd better not take any chances. We have a present for you up in the attic, Casper. We have? Ooh, quiet, dumbbell. We can always find something up here. Look, this is it. The Mother Goose book Casper gave us for our birthday. See? To the ghostly trio from Casper. So? So this is simple. You're a genius, he writes from and to. Thank you. Oof. Happy birthday, Casper. Oh, a Mother Goose book. Thank you. Time to blow out the candles, Casper. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm not that old. The more candles, the bigger the wish you can make. He doesn't know it, but it's a magic cake. If he blows out all the candles, his wish really will come true. <gasps> no, hey. You never gave us a magic cake. Shh, I'm afraid of what you'd wish for. Whoosh. Goody, you blew them all out. Now your wish will come true. Oh, dear, I forgot to make a wish. <laughs> oh, what a dope. He forgets to make a wish when he has a mag... Oh, why don't you make one now, Casper? He kicks him. Ha ha. It just might come true, so I'll wait till I think of something nice. Now, let's cut the cake, and then I'll read my new book. Huh. Mmm, good. You gave him the book he gave you? You three are awful. Awful smart, you mean. Come on. Let's go scare somebody. This party's getting dull. I have to do some shopping for my aunts, Casper. See you later. Happy birthday. Thanks, Wendy. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. <gasps> this is the saddest poem in this book. <clears throat> all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. That poor egg. How I wish he could at least have been hard-boiled. Huh. Where did your brick wall come from? And there's Humpty Dumpty sitting on it. Oh, look out, you f you'll fall. Too late. Out of the way. Make way for the king's horses and the king's men. Find Humpty Dumpty and put them together again if you can. Oh, dear, they can't. He is altogether, sir. He is. Extraordinary. How can an egg fall off a wall and not break? Or perhaps I know. He may be hard-boiled. Hard-boiled? Me? I'll test it by knocking down all the king's horses and all the king's men. No! Uh-oh. Now, this is Casper. There goes a ghost. Do you know the ghost scare? No. Sure, they holla ba. He 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 ba is not the word we use to scare, but it's just as well he's mistaken. Say, Mr. Ghost, let's hear you holla ba. All right, ba. That didn't scare me. Me neither. Say, isn't another word ghost say? Yes, the word is actually boo. Oh, where'd they go? That's it. Ooh, sub page. A yellow submarine. The tough egg. Where we hit a tank. Were we hit by a tank? We look at that. I'm hard boiled. I'm tough. Humpty Dumpty, you mustn't do that. You should be grateful that you weren't. Don't tell me what to do. I'll scramble you. Be careful. Dunk goes right through him. That was a nasty trick, you duck. No, I didn't. You went right through me. 
You see, I'm a ghost then. A ghost? Oh, oh, he tripped. <gasps> Down the road he trips. Don't be afraid. I'm a friendly ghost. Oh, okay. Don't bother me then. I'm really rolling now. Stop, Humpty. You must be careful. A rolling egg gathers no moss. <laughs> You've just been rolled over by a hard-boiled Humpty Dumpty. I'm sorry, folks. He's only been hard-boiled for a short time. <clears throat> what is this? A cracked egg and a kooky ghost? Let's get out of here. Oh, my goodness. That's right. Humpty will crack his shell to pieces. Where did he go? Pardon me. Have you seen Humpty Dumpty? Is that supposed to be a yoke? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, dear. This is no laughing matter. Humpty, where are you? Here I am, Casper. Save me. Ah, such an omelet with a souffle. <clears throat> Excuse me. He wants to cook me, Casper. Stop. This is no ordinary egg. No, he's Humpty Dumpty. Ah, Humpty Dumpty, sunny side up, or poached egg a la Humpty, or scrambled Humpty Dumpty. It will jazz up the breakfast menu. Hey, wait a minute. Why am I afraid of you? I'm already cooked. I'm hard-boiled. Uh. Oh, you better come with me, Humpty. I have bad news for you. Wait, sell them to me. An egg salad he'd make. What bad news, Casper? I'm afraid you're cracked. Is that so? I'll show you who's cracked. Wait, you'll only crack your shell more. My shell? I never thought of that. What'll I do? Come home with me. I'll tape you up. I knew you'd think of something. I must warn you, I'm not too good at this. There it is. Doesn't look too handsome, but let's see me. Oh, you don't like it? I know. No, I don't like it. I love it. Really, look tough. Cartoon shows. Okay, a, a new rhyme that's exactly right. Oh, dear. Now I'm the roughest, toughest, most hard-boiled egg on the earth. I can take anything. Oof, whack. He was such a nice egg in the nursery rhyme. Humpty, how about a glass of milk and a nice piece of birthday cake? <laughs> oh, no. Are you kidding? That's kid stuff. I have to go out in the world and bowl them all over. Oh, dear. He's too big to handle. I wish someone would show him his proper place. Oh, there you are, you naughty egg. How did you get out of the nest? Put me down, I'm hard boiling. Good, then you'll hatch a note in a nice tough little dinosaur. I don't understand. It lately, my, my wishes have been coming true in the in most peculiar way. Now stay there and hatch with all your brothers and sisters. Who's the idiot lizard, Casper? I'm getting out of here. I'll show them they can't push hard boiled Humpty Dumpty around. Out of my way, fatso. Boom, and he hits the lizard. Oh, no, the dragon. Everybody out of my way. Oh, dear, he'll never learn. Humpty, have a piece of cake and a glass of milk, and let's go home. Will you stop treating me like a little kid egg? Oof, 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 oof. Ugh, what's that? I'm Humpty, the hard-boiled egg. That's what's that. Hard-boiled egg? Mmm, yum. Just what we need for picnic at Fire Cave. Yum. Big egg salad. Bloop. Wait. I'm sure you'd rather have dinosaur eggs, wouldn't you? You'd better listen to Casper. He's a scary ghost. Clunk, they drop him. Stop. We modern prehistoric people don't believe in ghosts. We are scientific advanced civilization. Humpty, let's leave while we can. We have discovered fire. Our best brains are now working on an incredible new idea, the wheel. Stop the lecture. We saw a ghost and no egghead is going to convince me of that. I don't like the way he said egghead. Humpty, stop. Oops, boom. Whoops, boop. Eureka, look, he's discovered the wheel. Dunk. Your name will go down in history as the unknown inventor of the wheel. Ah, it was nothing. Wow, I'm rolling again. Oh, he rolled right into the dinosaur nest. Look, the baby dinosaur hatched, and you fit into his shell like, uh, like ham and eggs, quick drawer, me a handsome face. <clears throat> there, and now I wish we were home. It took me a while, but now I understand Wendy made a wishing cake. Whee, this is a great, Casper. Here, I'll spread some straw around, and you can fall all you want. Oh, boy. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. If he has a great fall, it won't matter at all. Tee-hee-hee. -hee. 
Look, he's scribbling in the book we gave him. No gratitude. Okay, scrambled rolls. Say, that makes me hungry. Start your day right. Eat a good breakfast. Scrambled eggs for breakfast. Yum. I'm getting closer and hungrier. At work, all the hens look so comfortable sitting on their eggs. I sure wish I had a nice comfy egg to sit on. Now, now to scare up a nice breakfast. Hey, a nice big comfortable egg. <gasps> oh, he sits on his head. Hey, hey, you goony boyd, get off my head. Boy, sitting on eggs is tougher than I thought. Off you nut. I'll just have to go through the fence. Wham. He goes through the fence and leaves the rooster there. Hey, you're no egg. Eggs don't have funny noses like that. Well, that crash finally knocked some sense into you. Stop yakking and tell me how to get some eggs for breakfast. Too bad the hens won't let you have any. Some of the eggs are for hatching chickens and the others are for farmer. Well, I got ways. Boo, ah, who are you? I'm Spooky, the tough little ghost. Oh, well, as long as you're not a fox, we're not afraid. Golly, that rooster was right. Looks like I won't get any eggs. Psst, Mac, open the gate and let me in, and I'll get you the eggs. I'll get the eggs for you. Ha, you think you can scare the hens off their nest before better than I can? Sure, I'm a fox. Watch this. Hello, eee, they fly away. There you are, pal. Take your pick. Uh, how can I tell which are for hatching and which are for eating? Simple, pal. Eat them all. What? Why, why, you're, you're what Casper would call a scoundrel. Sticks and stones, etc. What's your line, Mac? I'm Spooky, the tough little ghost. A ghost? Phew, just in time. He caught them. Spooky, you're wonderful. You got me mixed up with Casper. I'm a tough, scary... Nonsense, Spooky, and to show our appreciation, we're going to do something nice for you soon. Hello, Poyle. You're invited to a hen party. Eat, eat, hmm, hmm. These goyles sure know how to scramble up a heap of eggs. We think your boyfriend is cute. Shh, he's conceited enough. Okay, well, that was Casper the Friendly Ghost. Casp come to Casper's birthday party. Number 12. I hope you enjoyed that little reading. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papas-Comic-Books, okay? Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and leave me a comment. And as Papa and Casper always say... That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.